welcome to our uh, first ever virtual event um, where we're actually going live to Kenya. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ellie and I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager at So They Can. It's a pleasure to host this event today. Um, joining me host, hosting the event is Gibson, our Education Manager in Kenya, um, and Nick, our PR and Logistics Manager. And um, along the way, we will have other staff members joining us, so um, give them a little virtual wave um, when you see them. Um, so today we are visiting Milamani School, um, primary school in Akuru in Kenya. Um, so I know everyone's very excited and I don't want to take up too much of your time now, um, but I do want to let you know that the reason for having those cameras off is just to improve that bandwidth. Um, we've been told by Zoom that um, that's going to improve it, so let's see if that works. Um, we are coming live, so we're bound to have a few glitches and technical um, hiccups, but let's just see how it goes, and we're all very excited to host you. Milamani is uh, one of 42 schools that So They Can supports in East Africa. We run mostly all of our education projects at this school. Um, that's from Keeping Girls in School, which empowers girls through education so that they can stay in school, um, even when they're on their period to um, Let's Learn, which is focused on developing early childhood interests and skills in reading, writing, and maths. Now, I know you're all so excited to just get stuck to it, so let's get in. Um, Gibson, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, Ellie, I can hear you loud and clear. It's a good morning. It's Jumbo here from Kenya, Limani Primary School, Nakuru County. Can I proceed? Brilliant. Yeah, that's awesome, Gibson. So I'm going to turn my um, camera off now, but I'll leave my mic on so I can communicate with you. Over to you, Gibson. Thank you so much for hosting us today. Thank you so much, Ellie. Uh, again, it's Jumbo to everyone who is watching us. We are here in Milimani at Milimani Primary School. It's a school in Nakuru, Kenya. It's one of the schools that we are really implementing our programs, and it's one of the school with uh, one of the highest populations, uh, over uh, 800 students. So this morning, it's a lovely, it's my pleasure to be able to take you around the school. I will be your guide, I'll be your host, I'll be working with a team here on the ground. My name is Gibson Moita, the country education manager. We want to start right here. And with me is the school head teacher, uh, Madam Lucy, together with the school uh, BOM. I want to give it to Madam Lucy briefly to say hi and just welcome us. Hi, welcome everybody to Limani Primary School. This is an integrated school. We have uh, children in regular classes, and we have those with special needs. Thank you so much. I am also joined here by the BOM chair, uh, Pastor Kamau. I just want him to say hi and welcome us with the school as well. Sanchi, it's my pleasure actually to welcome every one of you to Mlimani Primary School, uh, where we are gathered today for this uh, virtual meeting. We want to welcome you as also partners that partner with our school. We are grateful. Enjoy the tour. Thank you so much. And also, uh, not forgetting, we are also joined by the PA chair, uh, Madam Rose. I also want her to just say hi before I can be able to proceed. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Ellie and Tim, so this is part of the school management and right this minute it is break time here it's around uh 10 you know 37 or thereabout and so there are kids playing around i want us to just you know come and interact with them a bit so please come thank you gibson we're so excited to be here this is amazing so um yeah it's so it's a lovely day there gibson today yeah it's a lovely day it's a bit sunny here and uh, as you can see, I have a number of students playing here. I just want to maybe move in a bit and just get to say hi to them. Please come, please come, please come, come, please come, please come, please come, 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 come. Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, so let me pick on uh, anyone random. So let me, what's your name? Victor. Victor. Okay, Victor, you're in, you're in which class? Class three. Okay, thank you so much. So as you can see here, these are uh, people from Milimani. It's break time. 
and they're all here. So please wave, wave to the camera. Jumbo. <laughs> and say jumbo to them. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. I want to, at this particular point, Ellie, if you can hear me and Tim, yeah, at this particular point, I want to, yeah, as I've indicated, it's break time. We have a team of amazing teachers who are behind, you know, learning process here at Milimani Primary. So I want to go to the staff room and see what is happening on that particular site. So please come with me. Okay, that sounds awesome. Let's go. Um, while we're walking there, I just want to remind everyone that if you have any questions along the way, um, pop them into the comments um, section. And then when we get to the end, we'll, we'll try and go through, um, go, try and get through them. So if you have any questions at all, um, um, feel free. We want to make this as interactive as possible without our cameras and microphones on. <laughs> Perfectly well, Ellie. I'm um, outside the staff room. Uh, a few teachers are in here. I want to get in and see uh, who I will find here. Hello, teachers. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, I have here, I'm here with my visitors and partners all across the world. So uh, everyone watching, this is um, Limani Primary uh, staff room. Have a few teachers here. I would want them maybe to wave to the camera, please. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, as you can see there, Hello. as you can see there. Yeah, it's break time. They're enjoying their tea break. <laughs> yeah, so maybe um, just get you to say something, right? Yeah. So Nick, let's just hear from, please tell us your name and just say something. My name is Dina Okoyo. I'm a teacher of Mulemani Primary School. So they can, they are really inspired and motivated our Pupils, keep it up. God bless you. And we shall partner together and work together as a team for the success of this children. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you so much, uh, team. So this is the staff room. So if you may come with me. Um, as I've indicated, is that um, it's break time. And of course, you can see pupils here. Mm -hmm. So there's something happening on the other side of the school where we have our My Voice project, uh, Chamber project. And I want to take it to my colleague on the other side, Peter Millicent, if you can hear me, Peter, please take it away and tell us what is happening on the other side. Thank you so much, Gibson. We can hear you loud and clear. And Jumbo to everyone. So as you mentioned, we're here at the farm. This is the Hang on, Peter. Uh, there we go. There we go. We can see you now. We were just having some tech issues. That's great. Carry on. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. So this, uh, this is an initiative under my voice project initiated by the school. We have students working on it all over. And I'll probably, I'll have, uh, I'll talk to the president of this club, Vincent, uh, if you can just tell us a little bit about uh, the program and how it helps you. Please. Yes, last time we came, this program was good. Still young, but now it's become two kids and now I like so much. So they can, it help us and it encourage us. When we grow up, we do our own farming, we get money like that, you see, and then it helps in our nation. Yes, thank you so much, Vincent. So what basically Vincent is saying is this program, um, it basically teaches them responsibility. And you can see right now, as Gibson mentioned, it's break time. So when you see students here, they take turns uh, to come and work on the farm. I'll have uh, teacher Linda come in and uh, explaining a little bit more about uh, the project. Shalinda, how are you? Hello, how You're are fine? you? Fine, thank you. Please explain a little bit more about this project and uh, how it uh, sustains the school and helps the students here. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a, this program is supported by so they can. Uh, we planted some of the kale. We have the spinach here, the onions on the other side. All the produce that we get from here uh, support the school, the special needs children, and even the extra ones we can also sell and uh, get something uh, small so that we can buy more seedlings and then we continue pumping in our small farm. Thank you so much, so they can for the support in our. Program. Thank okay. you so much, Gibson. Back to you, Gibson. Uh, probably the students can. Uh, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Peter, thank you. So thank you so much for that. Okay, we are yeah. back with you, Gibson. Thank you. I think. Thank you so much. You uh, Yes. Thank you so much, team. Uh, everyone watching me. Again, I'm on this other part of the school where you can see the number of students uh, moving toward a particular direction. Uh, maybe I would want to just get to hear from one of them as I take you to the ACD. Please come. Please come join me. Put your mask well. Yeah, please tell me your name. Grace, you're in class? Class 7. What do you want to become? 
A chef, okay, fine. So where are you heading to? Is it for to check audio or something? All right. Thank you so much. So yeah, again, this other side of the school. Please wave, please wave, please wave to the camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everyone else is waving at their screens with their cameras off. <laughs> sure, sure, please. Yeah, yeah. So I want to take you to one of the ECD classes we have here at Milimani so that then you can be able to see uh, there's some learning that is going on and then we can get to interact with them a bit. So please come with me. Thank you, Gibson. This is amazing already. I'm so happy the, the Wi-Fi or the, um, the bandwidth is, is really good so far. Okay, Ellie, so I'm set. Hello. How are you? Please wave. Please wave. Good morning. How are you? Oh, hello, everyone. Well, I'm fine too. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Please let's have our seats. Thank you so much. So, if you can see, if you can see here, yeah, this is an ECD class. Uh, there's learning that is going on. So, please watch a bit and then I can get to talk to the teacher. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. So what are they so doing? There's some creative, uh, so they are doing some um, creative work here. They are doing some artwork, yeah, using um, natural resources, using bottle tops, using sawdust, using oh, grass. Beautiful. And actually, if, if Nick, you could move closer. I can see they are actually trying to paint a house, if you can see that, oh. using the, you know, the small things they have here. And just yeah. to inform us that this is part of the uh, Kenya curriculum, uh, competence-based curriculum, which mm -hmm. really focuses on, uh, you know, um, uh, developing the students and people's talent. So that's basically what is happening. So Malimu, madam, if I can talk to you a bit. Yes, please. You may come this side. Thank you so much. So right now I'm joined by um, Christine. teacher Christine. Teacher Christine, good morning. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could just tell us something about what the students are doing briefly. They yeah, are making a hut. Okay. This is a house <laughs> uh, in the rural area okay. by our grandparents. Okay. So they are trying to make the hut. Mm -hmm. They are putting the grass on uh, at the roof okay. and the sawdust uh, at the uh, at the floor. All right. Yeah. Okay. So is this part of learning? Yeah, which is part of learning. Uh -huh. As you can see, there are some chickens yes. uh, on the compound. All right. So they, you know, whenever they go to see their grandparents, yes. they are even check chickens around the compound. Oh, okay. The, uh, that is what they are doing. Perfect. They are testing yes. the chicken around oh, the house. Cool. Uh, the hat, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, as you can hear, audience and uh, stakeholders and partners, this is so cool. This is a normal, ideal learning, uh, that is ECD session. So I just want to um, stop it at that, but maybe ask the students to wave to the camera as we talk to them. Hello, people. Please wave to the camera and say Jumbo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is ECD class, Mulimani, and this is PP. This is PP2. Thank you so much, Madam uh, Christine, for that. Please come with me as I take you to the other side of the school. Thank you, Gibson. This is amazing. We are loving it. All the comments are brilliant. Everyone feels like they're with you there. Perfect. So um, if, you can, if you can see me uh, and if you can hear me, uh, Ellie and Tim, I had talked to a girl before going into the class. So right now I want to talk to a boy and just be able to find out uh, maybe uh, what his name is and what he wants to be. Good morning. So what is your name? Moses Jr. So Moses Jr., what would you want to become? I want to become a lawyer when I grow up. You want to become a lawyer when you grow up? Why would you want to become a lawyer when you grow up? Okay. So you want to fulfill your daddy's dream? All right. Perfect. 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 So that is one of the boys randomly picked here. So thank you so much. That is Moses. Gibson, I want to confirm Gibson. with Peter. Yes. Yes. He, want, he, he wants to become a lawyer. Why does he want to become a lawyer? Did you ask him? Uh-huh. Yes, I have. But uh, let me see whether I can be able to pick it up again. So why would you want to become a lawyer? It's, it's a little quiet. Maybe you could repeat, Gibson. So that's why I want to be a lawyer. Not a problem. So Ellie, what um, Moses is saying that um, he wants to become a lawyer because his father had a dream of becoming a lawyer. However, he did not manage to become a lawyer. 
So it's more like now he still wants to, you know, chase that dream and be able to come, become a lawyer. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that's so lovely to hear. Thank you, Gibson. Perfect. So um, as you can see, I'm on this side. Uh, the pupils are holding some cups. Uh, you know, I, they are going for uh, some porridge to be able to take porridge, uh, nutritional value. And that is what he's happening. So I want to check with Peter. Peter, on the other side, uh, I want to come to you. Tell us what you have on that other side. Peter, over to you. Okay. I'm just going to yes, stop on this video. Uh, Jump with everyone again. We are here at the field. And as you can see, uh, there's a physical education class going on. And, it, and of course, um, this is something that is very, very, very important to the kids. And I probably have the teacher saying hi. Please come with me. Okay. Please say something to the camera. Okay, we are on this education. Children are enjoying themselves. We are exercising after classroom. Yeah, maybe the first lesson we are mathematics. Now we are on physical education. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. As yeah. you can see, this is actually very important. It motivates the children. And I probably say hi to the camera. Say hi to the audience. Okay, thank you. Thank you so Peter, much. Peter, I think you should get involved. I think you should do some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to you, Gibson. Okay, so if you can see me, um, I am standing outside a classroom, yeah. and basically, uh, I want to draw your attention to this particular bit of the classroom. Uh, you can see here, uh, there's a placard here which reads uh, um, uh, NGCDF project, that is called uh, Constituency Development Fund Project, Nakuru Town West. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea is that this particular block has been renovated uh, by the CDF, and that is the Constituency Development Fund. And basically, it was as a result of some of the Board of Management Resource Mobilization Initiative. Why is that important? It is important because, as so they can, we train and we capacity build the Board of Management on resource mobilization and also on management. So through the skills acquired, they were able to resource mobilize and be able to do this kind of innovation as you can see. And basically that's really uh, how important this particular bit is. Ellie? Um, amazing, that's, yeah. that's great to hear and I totally agree. So important, Gibson, thank you for showing Perfect. us that. But at the same time, as we are here, uh, there's a class that is uh, going on. So I would want, to, I would want, us, I would want us to just fit in because it's a lesson that is going on, so no much interruption. Just sit in, see what is happening. Please come with me. We are coming with you, so don't worry. <laughs> yes, we'll uh, Rachel, yes, we'll send you the recording. Yeah, it's a lesson that is going on. Okay, it's a lesson going on, and uh, it's about singing. Uh, so the student is, you know, uh, just practicing or, uh, you know, singing along the lyrics of the song. And basically, that is what is happening here. I don't want us to interrupt it as much, so I would have my team move so that we can go to the other side. And uh, please, Nick. Thank you, Gibson. Perfect. Awesome. So that is a typical classroom that we have observed here. And uh, it is a music lesson. Of course, you could see the teacher, uh, teacher Kibet, using uh, part of ICT to be able to, you know, deliver the lesson. Yeah. So at this point, I want now to move you to the other side of the school where we have the SNE units, uh, such that then we are able to see really what is uh, what is happening. And, and if you could, uh, Nick, SME, if you could focus on this other side. Uh, so this, this basically, yeah, this basically the blocks. Of course, as you can see, the compound, all that. And so moving over to the other side, I can see there's an activity that uh, the teachers are settling down and the students, please come and find out what it is. Please come. Okay, let's go. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Put your hand up in the comments if you are. And of course, if you have any questions along the way, just make sure that you drop them in there as well and we'll get to them at the end. I know I'm having an amazing time. <laughs> Thanks, Thomason. Glad you're here with us. Volume. Volume. We're with you, Glenn. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Ellie, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Perfectly well. So I want us to, there's something happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see what it is. 
there are students seated here, there's a teacher. We want to we want to check what it is. Rita, we'll um we'll talk more about this. Teenage, teenage start. Are we together? So this is the talk for the for you to make that. Perfect. So excuse me, teacher. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, girls. I can good also morning. see are these girls only or boys? Girls only, okay. So good morning, madam. Uh, we are here. Uh, we have our audience, live audience, okay. watching from all over the world. And uh, we, this is part of the tour that we are doing. Okay. We are interested to know what you are doing here and uh, possibly how important it is. Maybe you could start by telling us your name and then what you're doing here and what's happening. Okay, my name is Diana Andolo. I'm a teacher here in Mulimani Primary. And in most of the cases, I have some mentorship programs with girls. So today we were at this time, this is break time. I was trying to mentor girls, teenagers, girls in class eight. Most of them are 13 years and 14 years. So I was trying to tell them what to expect at teenage. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, how often do you do this? This one, maybe once a month. Okay. Sometimes when you have time, sometimes right. you also have come with these shoes, okay. so you have to sit and stop, okay. yeah, things like that. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, uh, that's awesome. It, yes, perfect. If you can hear us, this is part of uh, what we call more like uh, small families at school, where there is support of uh, students outside the classroom and outside academic, and basically this is a typical one that is happening. So guys, please wave to the camera and say hi. <laughs> thank you hi. so much and say bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Malimo. Please proceed with the session. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> no. That's amazing. Such an important thing to do for those girls as well. Perfect. Getting together. Yeah. Completely true. I want to uh, take a pause here a bit so that I can be able to show you this side. As you can see, there's... Um, relatively new uh, block. This is a sanitation block that we have here, which we uh, supported the school to be able to put up. So we worked with, partnered with the school in putting up this particular sanitation block. I have the head teacher here. I just want her to tell us what it is and possibly maybe how important this particular block is. Uh, Madam Lucy, please. Yes, thank you. Hi again. This Hi. is a sanitation block. It houses uh, the girls' changing room and uh, the toilet for the VI. We have those special needs children who cannot travel all the way to the far end of the school where we have the sanitation facilities. So we want to thank the so they come because they have supported us to put up this block and it has really assisted us in keeping time, uh, uh, getting time, uh, redeeming time which was lost by the learners going to. And one of our learners has multiple uh, disability. She cannot see and she is physically challenged. So this facility is very close to their classroom and it has really assisted them. Also, we have a toilet for the visitors and the teachers, okay. which they are also using. So we have benefited and we want to thank our partners. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. As Madam has said here, uh, one of the students that we'll be interacting with are VI, visually impaired, and they were really struggling going all the way to the extreme end of the school because they did not have a sanitation uh, you know, room. Mm -hmm. However, right now we have this one here that is just at behind, immediately behind the SNE unit that I want to take you into. Nick, we recently where the unit is. It's so uh, close, this is it? relatively like uh, what, like uh, 15 meters or so. 15 meters from the SNE unit. So that is very important and has come in handy. And recently we launched this particular block when our country director, Terry Anderson was in the country. Mm -hmm. And I want to take this opportunity to wish her quick recovery and speed recovery. Yeah, so please come with me as we get into the SNE unit where we can interact with a few students there, please. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, it's just amazing to be there. It is just amazing everyone is loving it gibson and nick nick your camera skills are brilliant perfect so i'm um, standing outside the sne unit at mlimani 
I want us to just walk in and um, I know learning possibly is going on. Mm -hmm. So let's walk on in and see what is happening here. Please come with me. Okay. Oh, wow, lovely. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, if you can see, this is the SNA unit at Mlimani Primary School. Uh, there is an activity uh, that is going on. However, I am also here with the teacher in charge of this particular SNA unit, Madam Jen. So please, Madam Jen, um, introduce yourself and then tell us briefly about this SNA unit. Okay, my name is Jen Chesire. I am a specially trained teacher in the area of the visually impaired, whereby most of the children here are of that category. So I'm happy to be teaching these children and uh, they are wonderful children. They are all learning in Braille, except uh, two of them who are low vision and one who is an amputee. The children come from different places within the county of Nakuru. Thank you. Uh, so in number, how many do you have? How many students do you have here? We have 28 learners. We have 28 learners. Yes. Uh, maybe I understand that there are a few who uh, managed to sit for the national exam and I think passed. For, briefly, maybe could you please mention and tell us about that? Yes. Uh, last year, we had two candidates who sat for their KCP examinations and they were both uh, brain users and they did well and they have joined form one. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, I know as so they can, we have supported the unit. Just maybe a mention in terms of maybe how that has facilitated you effectively run the unit briefly. Yeah, we are. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. We are very much uh, grateful to so they can because uh, they have really facilitated the learning of children in this unit. In initially, we didn't have desks. We didn't have even textbooks, no. Braille textbooks. Okay. But so they can came in handy right. and they provided 20 modified desks okay. for these learners whereby they, they, they can store their, learn, their learning materials and also their desks are specified tailor-made oh, okay. for their learning needs. Right. Also, so they can bought for us textbooks, Braille textbooks worth 130,000 shillings, right. which is quite uh, expensive. And also, they have bought for us playing materials. That's okay. So, in summary, Madam Jane, what you're saying is that um, whatever support you've gotten from the project has facilitated you. Thank you so much for that. So, uh, we want now to thank you so much for hosting us here, as of course you're having this event. So, maybe you could ask them to wave to us as we are leaving. Okay. Yes. You can wave to the visitors as they leave. Wave to them. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. What Thank a, you so much. Thank you so much. Impact. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So. And Gibson, just. I just want to mention. Gibson, just before we move yes. on, we were speaking the other day about how two students um had their sat their exams and. Yes. To just tell everyone about that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so in the last year, in this uh, the exam that was done, the last uh, uh, Kenya uh, Certificate of Primary Education National exam that was done sometime early this year, we had two of the students, as teacher said, uh, sitting for the exam, and they managed to pass. And right now they are in secondary school. Um, yeah, school. they are in national school as the head teacher is saying. Okay, yes. perfect. So. We actually uh, took two of our students from this uh, SNA unit to national schools. National schools are high-end schools and of course are you know, at national level, so that really talks a lot. And again, just to mention as we are going to uh, closure, is that this is part of uh, our disability mainstreaming and inclusion, one of the cross-cutting agenda, and that is why we are basically supporting this particular institution, because we believe every child has a right to education, be it they are living with disability, be it they are empowered differently, and that's why we are supporting this. So please walk with me as now we are going to the other side where we are going to see something on the wall as we close. Please come with me. Thank you, Gibson. Okay, all right. So maybe a few of us have seen photos of this particular bit. And uh, I just want to, there's a teacher here who is also our contact teacher at Milimani. 
yes, uh, Nick. Uh, so I want to just ask her the inspiration behind all this painting and lovely photos here. Of course, I can see our projects here, but basically, please introduce yourself and tell us the reason behind this. This is a program. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, just quickly. Africa, yes, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Yes, Ellie. Um, can't hear can't hear her so well so if you can just hold the microphone a little bit closer or okay something. please please close up close up to the mic okay please sorry this is a new work on the south africa program project and uh, it has all the programs and that so they can in our school and they have uh, we have these paintings here representing all the programs and so they can and we also have the fingerprints here you can see yeah, right. all the officials and so they can program mm -hmm. okay. thank you very much thank you so much so basically what chalinda is saying that this is just a painting it's a mural that has all the projects and the reason why they, uh, these were done is so that they continuously of course remember and appreciate the projects being implemented here however they also communicate because like if you can see here uh, nick if you could focus on my voice you can see this particular mural here it is saying that that is a pictorial representation of no child abuse, no corporal punishment, as you can see. And then the other bit is that um, on this end here, you can see some um, palm painting. This one we did recently, and it was more like an endorsement of all these particular projects and a stamp of the support that we're giving here, as well as partnership and us collaborating with the school. So this is quite exciting, even to us, as we see all this. Mm. And uh, we know that, and I hope that, of course, it's also exciting. Nick, so if you could focus also behind you, there's the bit where they have listed all the projects that are here. Um, yeah, appreciating and indicating all that we basically implement in this particular school. Amazing. Yeah. So, Ellie, at this point, uh, it has been a lovely tour, just moving around the school and seeing the different aspects and the different parts of this particular institution. Uh, it has been amazing, of course, taking you around. Myself, Gibson Moita, and my co-host, uh, Peter, and also the team that is here. I was with Nick Nyamubo, who is behind the camera. Uh, there is Masi, who is also you know, helping us directly and there. Uh, there is Millicent, who was also behind the camera. There is the head teacher, Madam Lucy. There is um, our champion mother, as well as the uh, PA chair. Uh, Madam Rose, and then the BUM chair, uh, Mr. Kamau, who have been with us together with the other teachers. So, Eli, I want to pause because we have come to the end of uh, our tour and give it back to you for any possible questions or maybe comments or reactions as we wait and listen. Eli, to you. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Gibson. Um, look, I'm just talking from myself, but I can see from all the comments as well. It has just been amazing going on this walk with you through the school. Um, everyone is saying thank you. I know you can't see any of the comments here, but Paul Dunn just said, made my day. And Kathleen said, thank you so much, Gibson and team. Um, Liz Phillips, wonderful presentation. And Liz, I, I'm sure you'd like to have seen the um, Camp Africa artwork there on the wall as well. Um, Janine absolutely loved it. It's just amazing to be able to actually connect in this way. Um, so I, I suppose I just want to quickly open up to um, everyone in the comments and just say if anyone has any questions um, now is a good time to pop them in. Um, with Because there's been so many comments in that chat, maybe if you did have a comment then we could, um, a question sorry, we could put it back in. But um, Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's just been amazing to see you all there and, and see the children. What was everyone's uh, best, best bit? Maybe pop that in the comments. Oh, so um, Steve has asked, Gibson, are you there? Gibson? Yes, I'm here. I'm here, yeah, Ellie. So, um, we've got a question about how has COVID-19 um, affected things? Um, like, do you want to give a bit of a rundown about um, when COVID happened, what, what we did for uh, some of the students? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so indeed, because when COVID <laughs> began, uh, we were equally affected the same way, you know, other uh, sectors were affected. So what happened basically is we quickly then sat down and were able to analyze our approach, we were able to look at our programs, and we did two main things. Number one, we were able to have an adaptive approach of delivering the programs. For instance, if it is a program involving like bringing together so many students together, 
Then what we did is now, instead of having all the students together, but then we worked in small groups. That plus so many approaches, including even, um, you know, having uh, some shifting in terms of how we do our activities. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, we were able now to integrate and we we're able to mainstream COVID-19 sensitization activities, including training teachers on COVID-19, including empowering the students on COVID-19 prevention, including even empowering the community on how to go about that. Also including provision of personal protective effects, a bit to do with sanitizers, hand washing, gadgets, you know, etc. And at the same time, because it was important, and at some point education and school almost came to a standstill because schools were closed, what we did is that we decided to uh, switch into what we are calling home learning packs. And we're able to now support the students' continual learning while at home. So those are some of the things that we managed to do. And we are happy that we kept going and you know, we kept still intervening. Ellie, back to you. Awesome. Thank you, Gibson. Um, I think that was a really great rundown of um, some of the ways that we've um, kind of shifted a little bit and um, also were able to quickly react. So with those home learning packs at the beginning when schools closed to now with, you know, those smaller groups that they integrated and stuff. Hope that answered the question, Steve. Um, Gibson, we do have another question or a couple more. Um, one question is, um, what languages do um, the children speak at school? Okay, so there's a question about what languages do uh, the children speak at school. I want to give this to <laughs> the head teacher to help us respond to that. Thank you. We have two mediums of uh, communication, English and Kiswahili. Those are the two national languages that we have, the medium of education in our school. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, as you've heard, it's two languages, Kiswahili and English, as the main medium of communication. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Another question here, um, how many days a week do children go to school? So how many days a week do children go to school? I want to give that question to the DOM chair so that he can be able to help us respond to that. We actually do the five days in a week, that is Monday to Friday, but we have some students who are in school over the weekend, the few boarders that also learn over the weekend especially the VI who are around 90 percent of them are boarders so there are teachers that take them through for the seven days but for the others it is only five days in a week okay thank awesome. you thank Great. you thank yeah you. yeah Ellie, Ellie, yeah Ellie, it's important to mention that yes actually indeed the school has a small uh unit low-cost boarding unit where they actually check in students who have uh you know special needs and help them stay in or those who are from very neat background so that is very important to mention ellie absolutely um thanks gibson um okay another question um kathleen mm -hmm. so um the question is um how do children gain school like um oh sorry the comments are moving so is there a waiting list for the school or do children can children just like openly attend um Kathleen, this is a government, so we work in government schools, which we then support through our So They Can uh, programs and projects. And um, I'll, I'll hand this over to Gibson, but um, yeah, we basically are, we're working towards quality education in every school. So this is a government um, run school, but Gibson, over to you. How, is there a waiting list for this school? Uh, I'll be interested in asking the head teacher uh, the fact that this is a very good school. As far as how the students access this school, is there like a waiting list or how do they get enrolled to this school? Thank you. The learners get enrolled to this school by request from their parents. And they usually have an intake for grade one in January. So they start and study until grade eight. So they come in asking, seeking for the vacancy to be enrolled in the school. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, as you can see, of course, there is a seeking and then, then that's how the whole process begins. Ellie. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Gibson, just a, a quick note from Tim. Um, he reckons you deserve a special mention for your amazing shirt. Um, I think that's quite an important comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree. Um, I also just want okay. to highlight... I also just want to highlight something that Terry has put into the comments because I did mean to mention it earlier when, when I started the event, but we're having a few tech issues, so I got a little bit distracted. Thanks, Terry, for reminding me. So 
Um, academic, uh, academic performance at um, Milimani has actually measured, um, is measured in the um, national exam results and it's had a significant increase in 2020 um, to, um, and it has increased 13.7 points, which is really significant. Um, and that's despite like, co like the COVID-19, um, you know, closures and stuff like that. So it's a real testament to um, the support that the school and the team um, so they can work, we're able to help out with those home learning packs. Um, you know, the children haven't really missed out on any education while, um, while we were facing those school closures and the, and the home loan learning packs obviously did make a difference. So um, I know that so many of uh, you who are on the call today um, really supported our COVID-19 response and, and gave so generously. So thank you so much for, um, for your support there. Um, Patrick asked, um, do they have a football team at the school? Sorry, do Ellie, do they, do they have a what? Do they play football at the school? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, so, do you play football? Do kids play football here yes. in the school? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, kids play football. They also play netball. And we have a big football field for mm -hmm. them to play. Even the VI, they also play. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, yes, cool. indeed. Yeah, indeed, Ellie. Of course, the EVI also do the same. And that's why uh, uh, one of the teacher, teacher Jen, mentioned that we have been able to support them with the VI specific goal to be able to help them interact. Uh huh. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, so I'm just reading through the comments just to see, um, see if we've missed um, anything else. Um, here, so many amazing comments, um, Nick Gibson um, and team, and I'm going to try and save all of these so you can read them once the event is over, because um, they're, yeah. they're all for you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, you've really done an amazing job at that school, and it's it's just incredible to see um, you know the difference that um, everyone here on this call is making through supporting So They Can, whether you're uh, fundraising for So They Can, sponsoring. Um, you know, we've got some amazing high impact donors on the, on the call today who make such a difference to our projects. Um, so big thank you to everyone who has attended. Um, I just want to say as well, um, a few, a few questions around how many schools so they can actually does support in East Africa. And we actually are working in 42 schools now in Tanzania and Kenya. Um, and we are aiming to work in 60, 60 by 2030. So that's our um, next goal. Um, and um, with you guys, we, we know that we're going to be able to achieve it. Um, okay, to end, Gibson, I'm wondering if we can just go back to see some of the children. Is that possible? Because we've got kind of five more minutes. Sure, sure. Um, and before we go to the children, I just want to, there's a placard here. Uh, mm -hmm. just indicating when exactly the school began. This was 1971. This is about, um, four, how many years ago? That's about 50 years ago. So this school is 50 years old. Uh, this particular institution is 50 years old. Mm -hmm. I think it's older than a number of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want, uh, I want to take you to that particular section so that at least we close uh, from there. Okay. Uh, if I ask my members to join me as we finalize on the other few uh, minutes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good night, Wanani. My name is Trevor. Your name is Trevor. Yes. What are you taking, Trevor? Porridge. Porridge. Yeah. Oh, is it sweet? Yes. Okay. This is Trevor uh, together with his friends. Yeah, Trevor is holding a cup, uh, half cup of porridge, and he says it's very delicious and nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. That's really helping for them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh. yeah, Ellie, there's a question asked about uh, football. football. I decided to bring you here so that you can actually see that uh, whatever the teacher was saying is not <laughs> is not lies, but indeed there's football that is happening. Yeah, <laughs> and you can see the kids playing there. Uh, small ball together with you know another huge ball, so to speak. Oh, awesome! Yeah. yeah. And I there's know someone who has called here. Will be on the please, call come. That. please come, come, come. Yes, please come. 
I want to talk to the boy who has scored. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, what's your name? Yanji Prono. Prono. Yes. You have just scored the goal. Yes. How do you feel? Just feel great. You feel great. Yes. Uh, this is the boy who has just scored the goal here. They were playing football and he's the... Congrats. Yeah. Okay, say hi to the camera. Hi. Hi, everyone. Perfect. Okay, okay. What is your school motto? What is your school motto? Perfect, perfect, perfect. The school motto okay. is on the move. Yeah, and we have been on the move for the past uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I want to end by showing you the other extreme end. If Nick can help me point to the other side. You can see there are buildings that are coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a dormitory. Uh, that is a uh, girls or boys? That's, yes. A boy? Okay. Yes. Hall. Okay. We have uh, a social hall. We also have dormitories for boys and dormitories for girls, right. which are upcoming. Okay. So okay. Ne come next year, our school will be fully boarding. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Well, we will yes, we'll we'll do this again. So um, we yeah, look sure. forward to seeing that. Definitely. We'll be looking forward next time we are coming here, hopefully. Uh, the facilities will be operational and we'll get to interact with them and be able to take a tour. Okay, uh, and see awesome. how they are. But uh, yeah, early from me to you, that has been it. Uh, thank you so much for listening to us and thank you so much for touring with us. I want thank to give it you. back to you as I uh, say goodbye from this side. Thank early. you, Gibson. And we'd love to see Nick. For Nick's done such a great job at, um, at the camera all day and sure. we, we, want, we can't leave without um, seeing Nick. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so here is Nick. Nick, if you could move to the other side so that then the guys can there be able to see the guy who has. Yeah. This He's is our Nick. cameraman. He has been the best guy. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Yeah, the for camera all that you've done. It's but, been amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All Anybody? right, everyone. <laughs> well, Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Gibson. Thank you so much, Ellie. And thank you everyone for watching. We hope that we are going to do this uh, within the next uh, month or so, and we'll be taking you to a different school. Hopefully it will be East Pokot so that you can get to see a different setting and a different kind of school and dynamics. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gibson. Thank you so much, Ellie. Thanks. Okay, well, there you go, everyone. Um, what an amazing hour. We've been on a total journey um, through Milamani Primary School. Um, I know I've absolutely loved it. Oh, one thing I would love to do actually is just to, if everyone can turn on their cameras now and we can get a big selfie. Let's see what we can do going to be a bit of a challenge and turn your microphones on turn it all on <laughs> i'm actually going you cannot start your video because okay, the the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay uplifting start to the day i hope yeah, everyone's really enjoying themselves yeah. thank you so much guys thank I'm you very much i'm work out how i can make this um <laughs> work good um, job ellie Thank, Thank you. you. Everyone yeah. smile. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Um, Thank you. I, I really hope. I'm so, I'm so glad that we haven't had many technical issues either. Um, Fantastic. It's been Thank you so much. Perfect. <laughs> so thanks. Thanks, Ellie. Thank Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 See you on your faces. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a good evening or morning if you're on the other side of the world. There's Jedi, our sponsorship manager. I can see her there. It's Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. None of us want to hang out now. Can you see your faces? Is Gibson still there? Tell him to get the girls to do a dance for us. Aww. Is he still there? Gibson is here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> he doesn't want to hang up either. Hang Ask him to get the girls to dance. Yes, I'm here. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You were amazing out there. First ever live Thank virtual you. cross, and you just totally smashed it. Loved it. Thank you. Yeah. I've only just Thank stopped playing, so Gibson. <laughs> Sorry?
I've only yeah. just stopped crying. It was awesome. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. And uh, yeah, sure. It has been amazing. Uh, 30, 40 minutes or so. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, may you la have a lovely evening, lovely day, lovely night, depending on which part of the world you are. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, uh, thank you for having us. Bye. You're Bye so everyone. welcome. We'll be doing these again. So, um, so um, yeah, like we'll keep you updated on social media and we'll also be sharing this on our YouTube channel. So you're more than welcome to share it um, with your community if it's inspired you today. Perfect. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah, that was so welcome. good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>